Welcome back to M Hood Fishing. I'm on the road right now going to Greenville, Texas and that whole area. I'm just outside of Lindale, Texas right now I'm with my father. We're gonna go window shop some kayaks and we're also looking for some other things, but we're checking out places along the way. At some point I might fish, but right now I'm at a pond just outside of Lindale, Texas called Faulkner Park. Lots of lilies, looks pretty good. Just wanted to check this out real quick and open this video. I'm gonna vlog my little window shopping adventure because I'm looking for a kayak and I wanna go look at them. Not buying one today, I'm just gonna check them out and tell you what I think about them. Plus we're gonna go to Atwood. Atwood is this huge farm and tractor store, huge farm store. Let's go check it out. But first, let me look at this water, it looks good. Oh, I love this. Definitely want to check this out later. Stained, but fairly clear. Can't wait to put a Cinco down around these lily pads. It is freezing right now, by the way. It is 25 degrees out here. Doesn't feel that bad to me. 25 degrees back down in Southeast Louisiana is like, whew, you don't want to come outside in that. But it's not so bad. If I spent an hour out here without my gloves on, I might have a different opinion. It's gonna get up to 43, and it is mid-morning right now. So, you might be able to fish. It might be a fishing video shot after this little shopping trip. Well, it's a fake shopping trip, not buying anything. All right, so we're in Tyler, not Greenville, Texas. And this is the Atwoods. For some reason, I was expecting it to be much bigger because my father made it sound like it was the size size of a football stadium. It is pretty big. They're supposed to have kayaks. They do show them online, but we'll see. We're gonna go in here and check it out. We're actually looking for some metal dowels that we can't find back where we're at. It's like the TARDIS in here. It's bigger on the inside than the outside. There is actually quite a lot of stuff in here. I'm becoming impressed. All right, so sold out a kayak. So we're not doing a window shopping kayak thing in here today. We're gonna go to some other stores. As far as fishing stuff goes in here, they got some basic stuff. There's more hunting stuff right now. It's a pretty good size store. It smells like popcorn in here. All right, we're gonna see if we can find our metal dowel. They have everything but what we're looking for. No metal dowel, no kayaks, but plenty of toys. All right, that was Atwood. We're back outside. <laughs> Feels nice out here if you want to call 28 degrees nice. And it's warming up. So let's get to 43. Let's get inside the truck where it's warm and move on to the next store. See if we can find some kayaks to look at. Most of y'all should recognize where I'm at. You know where I'm at, right? That's good, that's good. Let's see what they have in there. We're still in Tyler. We have another option, but I don't think there's going to be anything there. Gander Mountain, it might be all camper and RV related stuff, but this place should have something. Here we go, looks like we have a whole wall of them just about, well, not the whole wall, but a good amount. There's some other things right there. Lots of things to look at. So there's a lot of kayaks in the world, cheap and expensive, and there are kayaks that aren't that desirable to me and the kayaks that are real desirable. Now, I do have a budget crunch and there are things I want and there are things I'm gonna settle for. I would love a sit on top kayak with a chair, similar to this one here, but I'm probably gonna have to settle for a sit on top like this, just the seat and the back. So this is an Angler Pro right here, and it's $399.99. Wow, that's pretty good plastic, nice and hard. It's not soft, it's not, not doing anything, but staying right where it needs to be. Lots of different options here. I'm looking for my mounting options. See up here, got the rails. Could always add more rails for mounting. Let's step back and take a look at it. This is a 10 footer. I was looking at a 12 footer online from Walmart by Sun Dolphin. It looks a lot like this. There was one at 
with one at Walmart for six something with the chair, but I don't see any sun dolphins here. So I would go with a 10 footer or a 12 footer. Where I'm at, there's no real big water. So a 10 footer or a 12 footer would be good. I do need this, this space, so probably would go with a 12 footer, but might settle for a 10 footer. Let's look at something else, another kayak. All right, we're gonna look at the Pelican Premium. It's a 10 footer. Look how wide it is. Let's back up and show it to you. Lots of space there, that's a good platform. This is a sit on top with a chair. Good for your back. Now I'm checking the plastic to see if it's stiff or soft. Or if it bends when I push on it, it's pretty stiff, pretty rigid. It is good, that gives you more support. That means that you're not gonna wear this out real quick hitting stuff. Seems like a durable plastic. We'll always check out the reviews and what people, you know, see what people say online. Lots of storage space, but that might be a little too big. As I look at these kayaks, I have to consider transporting it. I'm not transporting them on the bike. It's a Toyota Tacoma, my dad's truck. It's what I'm gonna be using. So, gotta think about ease of transport. 10 footers it could easily transport. But if it gets too heavy, yeah, it's not going to be easy for me or maybe you to move it around. Got to got to think about your uh, limits. Here's another Pelican. I think it's a 10 footer. It's five nineteen ninety nine. It doesn't come with anything fancy. Pretty basic looking. I don't like it. And this one I've already showed you is seven forty nine. I think I did. No. It's by those people. Probably a little bit out of my budget for now. But pretty nice, pretty nice. For my budget right now, I'd probably go with this. But out where I'm at, at Tractor Supply, there was one just like that by a different company, by Sun Dolphin, for $279. Probably go with that. And then when I can get an even better one, an even fancier kayak, I will throw the sun dolphin back out into the world to someone at a good price, someone that needs it and will appreciate it. All right, there's my dad, and he just reminded me of something that I don't know if I pointed out. This is not a fair comparison because I do not have a sun dolphin product on this wall. Here's what I want to point out. My father just did this off camera. This plastic is much harder and durable than the sun dolphin that we looked at the other day without the camera. So take that as you will. All right, before I go, I want to show you something that I just discovered. So you have this one with just the regular seat, not a chair for $3.99. And down here at the end past these other kayaks is one I didn't even realize existed. Here is a kayak I think this is a 12 footer it is a pelican for $3.99 and it has a chair and it seems all right so that's the better option I think if I was going to pick up one here I would go with this 12 footer it's got a, some options that I like but it doesn't have rails but there are places where I could put rails to hit you I hit you sorry there are places where I can mount cameras there so it'd be good but I'm probably gonna pick up something else I'm looking at Craigslist as well see what I can get I gotta get out there on a kayak out of all the kayaks that are here I think There's one I would pick this one if I picked one here this Pelican Icon XP it is a 10 footer it has the chair it has a live well or storage and then you have all this storage back here how much it weighs I don't know it's probably heavy but look you got really nice looking adjustable foot rest you got all kinds of places to put stuff you got your running rod holders you have to sport this out with other things 
look, here it comes with a, a rod holder. You have to get stuff to mount the cameras on it. And you could put stuff back here. Yeah, I think I would pick this one for 400 as a beginner kayak, but it doesn't seem to come with a paddle, whatever. All right, before I get out of this store, I wanted to talk about why I prefer the chairs, the sit on top chairs to this, even though I'm gonna have to settle for this just to get a kayak under my butt. It's a budget crunch, people. Now, some of these are okay. Other ones, like the Sun Dolphin one, I might settle for. It's a smaller back. The seat's gonna be okay, but the back support is smaller. And you're gonna get sore out there after a while if you spend like eight hours. You wanna be able to stand up too to alleviate that so you don't get sore. So if the Sun Dolphin seems like I can stand on it, it will be good. But if I can't and I'm stuck with this, stuck with this. So, why not buy this one? Well, it's $400. If I wanted to spend a little more, I could get this. So, choices, choices. All right. I hope you enjoyed the video. It was just a bunch of me going around and around and yabba yabba, blah, 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 blah. All right, so I'm gonna get out of here and hopefully do some fishing on the way back home. So, like, share, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time.